Hey Shooby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, it is 10 years tomorrow when I posted my first ever video on YouTube. How amazing is that? It came out of a moment when I was in the classroom and I was showing the kids how to draw the Ginger Ninja when the bell rang. <laughs> I asked the teacher if their smart board uh, was connected to the internet, which is quite unusual in those days. It was. So I said to them, I'm going to do you a drawing, I'll post it on YouTube, and then you can watch it and draw at your, in your own time. Well, I had an old mini DV camera and an iMac and iMovie and a Firewire connection, so I got started. I put the camera onto a tripod and pointed it down and I had to squeeze underneath it to be able to draw. And it was so dark. So I strapped some lights onto the tripod and in the second video I made, they fell off. You can see it here. Um, well, there goes the lights. Oh, my lights have collapsed. How awful is that? <laughs> So uh, I went through a whole bunch of different cameras after that and all sorts of different lighting systems and I learned so much about making videos. My original intention was to make videos to market my books but it didn't seem to work. And people then, students started asking me, can you draw this, can you draw that? And the Shoe Rain and Drawing channel just took off. Soon I was a YouTube partner and in 2011 I won the YouTube Next Up Europe Award. And then I began the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel to try and make short sure snappy how to draw videos. Almost as a split test to see which was best, a long or short video. They turned out to have almost exactly the same results. <laughs> I've made over 1,500 videos since then. I've added advice for creatives, how to illustrate and video blogs. I've done Christmas videos, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Halloween and Thanksgiving. In fact, talking to you, my subscribers every day, has really kind of opened my mind to the world out there and all the different cultures and time zones that people are in and all the characteristics of different interest groups. I stopped making car videos because they encourage a lot of trolling. <laughs> Aeroplane videos are great. Aeroplane people are really nice and kind and make wonderful comments. You know, watching that first video again, I am preaching exactly the same message today. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> and I'm still teaching the same basic drawing principles. Meanwhile, Brexit and the global financial crash have come and gone. Amazon and Trump have risen out of nowhere. And the world of children's books has changed dramatically. Oh, and before I forget, can we have a big round of applause for Chris Wanford of the Clever Notes channel, who wrote all my fantastic backing music. Recently, my statistics have been telling me that my most loyal subscribers are mostly adults. Now, that's not a problem in itself, but they're not so interested in my children's books. And I found myself being split more and more between two audiences. Just recently, it's come to a point where I feel I've got to make a decision. Am I going to be a drawing teacher or a children's author? Being both is exhausting and unsustainable. I decided to be a drawing teacher. I set up a website and all sorts of systems. I put an awful lot of work into it and I just reached the point where I was about to press the button and start a whole new career. And I thought, I'll just have a last think. And then my eye was caught by a leaflet that I'd posted on my studio wall. It was for last year's robot exhibition at the Science Museum. And suddenly I remembered I was gonna write a robot story and then a whole bunch of other ideas poured into my head. You know, you were gonna write stories about us too. And <sighs> I took the day off to think. And then I took the week off to think. And then I realised my YouTube 10th birthday was coming up and that really got me thinking. I make children's books. That's what I do. I think up ideas, I write the stories, I draw the pictures, and then I go out and visit schools and I tell the stories to children. That is what I do. YouTube has changed so much. There are now so many drawing teachers and most of them are much better drawers than me and most of them are much better teachers than I am. I really think that my work as a drawing teacher is done. Now it's time to get back to telling stories in words and pictures. Don't worry, I am not giving up YouTube. YouTube is a great love of mine and it is ingrained into my working life. But my videos from now on are going to be about my work and my life as a children's author. 
I continue sketching as sketching is the heart and powerhouse of illustration. I'll be telling stories, I'll be going places, sharing my thoughts and ideas, as well as introducing you to old and new stories and characters. I am a children's author, is what I do. I hope you'll keep following and enjoy the new direction of this channel. Well, thanks for all your support in the past and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Renner Drawing channel for another 10 years and ring that bell next to the subscribe button for notifications. In the meantime, keep watching, watching, watching <laughs> and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.